Hello, Nerdyverse girls. Um, I am laying down because this is literally the only way that I could make my face look not white as a ghost. And considering that I'm about the tannest person on the face of the planet, that's actually really, really weird. But the lighting in here is really bad, so this is probably how I'm going to be. Anyways, um, my name is Gabby, which hopefully we know each other's names by now, but in case we don't, hi, I'm Gabby. Um, I'm 19 and I'm a freshman in college. I attend the University of Texas at Austin. So I'm from San Antonio, but I go to school in Austin, which honestly is only like an hour away. So pretty much I live in the same area. Um, let's see. Like I said, I'm the tannest person ever because I'm 100% Mexican. Although a lot of people say I look Indian or Persian. Anyway, um, all my family comes from Mexico. I'm a first generation college student and all that. But, um, I don't speak fluent Spanish, which I'm actually kind of embarrassed about, but I understand a lot, and pretty much I can't go a week without eating a bean cheese taco or I'll go insane. Um, I like reading, writing, music. Um, ever since I've been in Austin, I've probably gone to like six or seven concerts. I've probably spent like at least a hundred dollars on concerts, probably more than that. Um, I've seen Switchfoot, Panic at the Disco, twice. Simple Plan, Jack's Mannequin, Motion City Soundtrack, um, I went to ACL, which is Austin City Limits, which is like a huge music festival, and I saw Arcade Fire and, um, and Fleet Foxes, couldn't remember the name of it, and Fleet Foxes, and they were all really good, and, um, it's kind of become a bit of an obsession in my I spend most of my time just standing in front of a person playing a guitar and hoping that they'll throw something into the crowd so that I'll get to keep it forever, which I actually have. I've gotten a water bottle from Forever the Sickest Kids, which is actually kind of gross, but I just kept it anyway because I'm weird. So yeah. Well, I'm a linguistics major, and if you don't know what that is, I could pretty much make like a whole video one day just telling you guys what linguistics is. Um, but essentially it's the science of language, and it means that I love languages, and I love words, but I, I mean, linguists don't necessarily know a bunch of languages, we just know the elements of language and the structure and phonetics and pronunciation and stuff. But still, I want to learn a lot of languages, I want to study abroad and travel, I want to decrease world suck, leave my mark, as Augustus would say. Um, I think there are a lot of nerdy things about me. Um, I like maps. Um, I like like just plugging in random places on Google Maps and just like looking at the different routes that you can get there, which I think is really weird because I don't like math and that's kind of mathematical to me, but I like doing that. I like just reading the dictionary, like pretty much the only thing I watch on ESPN every year is the spelling bee, so like the spelling bee is my sport and I have like my favorite people that I hope to win and stuff. The only spelling bee I've ever won is the spelling bee of the midnight release of Harry Potter in which I spelled a spell correctly and I was like so happy just because it was Harry Potter and spelling bee and I was like yay um I'm also really scheduled and organized and like I'll I actually planned out other people's like um course schedules and stuff like that for them because they don't want to do it and it's like I actually like doing stuff like that so Anyway, yeah. I have a younger sister, Her, um, she's 15, her name is Samantha, we call her Sammy. Um, she's autistic, sh meaning she doesn't like, I mean, I'm not sure you guys know what that means, but she doesn't like talk or eat normal foods or anything like that, and I just figured I'd like throw that out there now because like, I might be talking about her sometimes, and it's like helpful to know the situation, so, like you realize why I talk about her as if like she can't understand me because she can't but yeah I love her and she's at home and I see her every once in a while so that's really nice um I have a dog she is about oh uh, god she's at least 12 but probably older than that she's a terrier poodle mix and her name is Bubbles which is why I was like super excited when I saw John's video about Bubbles the nerf fighting puppy because I was like oh my god that's my dog except for my dog's name really is Bubbles uh, she's not a purebred, but I still thought it was funny. Um, my favorite book, typically Harry Potter, just like everyone else in the world. I like the Hunger Games. I like um, a lot of sci-fi. I like William Sleater. He's written maybe like 30 sci-fi books, and I like all of that. I like the So You Want to Be a Wizard series, 
and um, a series of unfortunate events, and like the Great Gatsby and stuff like that. Um, I had no idea. I was trying to think of something really funny to add in your pants too, and I couldn't think of anything because I suck. So I went and Googled it and I found some really good ones. Let's see. The sound and the fury in your pants. He's just not that into you in your pants. A good man is hard to find in your pants. And catching fire in your pants. I think that was the best one, just because like I've actually read that book. <laughs> Most like I will get texts from my friends asking me like they'll give me a word and ask me to define it for them because I'm a word nerd. They'll send me lyrics to a song and ask me what the song is. And, and I mean, sometimes I do cheat and look it up on Google, but most of the time I know the song. Harry Potter nerd, bookworm. Essentially, I just know lots of random little things and I pride myself on knowing lots of random little things. Um, I'm also the kind of nerd that's clumsy and falls over things and, you know, is generally accident prone. But, you know, I've managed to survive this long, so I think I'm gonna be good. And I guess that's about- I feel like I kind of know you guys already just because we've been like talking and sending each other stuff, which I think is really awesome. I guess I will see- I don't know whoever it is tomorrow, I don't know the schedule yet, I'm sorry, I just know it's- Claire was yesterday and she hasn't posted her video yet. Um, so after she posts hers, I'll put this up and yeah, I shall see you next week in which- Hopefully I will not have to be lying down because my shoulders hurt like hell right now because I'm a weak little munchkin. So hopefully I'll be able to sit down and actually talk properly. Okay, um, until next week then, goodbye and DFTBA and...